Hello and welcome you back uh, to our lessons. So as last time we already said that uh, our next uh, lesson would be a uh, farming method. So I welcome you to this uh, new lesson that we'll be looking at the farming method. So uh, this is what uh, we're going to learn. Unit 4, uh, farming methods. So uh, farming methods from uh, the last lesson that we had uh, the importance of agriculture we were discussing that uh, agriculture is important at different levels now uh, that which is important is produced at uh, different rate so that is what we're talking about when we are talking of farming methods how do people produce how do people uh, raise the farm animals so those are the farming uh, methods that we are going to be talking about. Now, with me, uh, we are going to start this uh, topic uh, in part one, because this one uh, topic uh, is a bit uh, larger, so I have uh, demarcated it into two parts. So, today we will learn uh, the first uh, part. So, uh, these are the uh, farming methods I was talking about. Now, uh, we have subsistence farming and also uh, we are having commercial farming so these are the two uh, main farming methods all agricultural uh, production are done under these two uh, major and main farming methods so as I already said that today uh, we are going to read the first part now uh, talking of the first part we are going to read about the subsistence uh, farming so uh, talking of subsistence farming we are talking that this is the growing of crops and raising of animals mainly for food so under subsistence farming our farmers they grow crops and also they raise farm animals mainly their main uh, aim their main purpose is for food or consumption they do uh, this they practice uh, this method to have their uh, survival in terms of food so farmers when they're doing this uh, they are practicing uh, the method of subsistence farming whereby uh, the farmers are producing to support their families they are producing to support uh, themselves in terms of food so uh, what are the crops that uh, can be grown, that can be uh, practiced under subsistence farming? Uh, so we are looking at crops grown by subsistence uh, farmers. So uh, the subsistence uh, farmers, what are the crops that they do produce? What are the crops that they uh, grow? Now, uh, the first one, the first crop we are talking of maize. Maize here in Malawi is the, uh, the staple uh, food. So farmers, they grow uh, maize for consumption, for food. So they are, the farmers under subsistence, they grow maize. Not only maize, they also grow, uh, we talk of millet. Farmers also grow millet uh, to produce different uh, food. So these farmers, uh, they grow uh, millet for uh, consumption. So not only also millet, they also uh, do uh, grow uh, what we call uh, the soja. They also grow that one for uh, food consumption. So farmers under subsistence uh, method, they can grow a uh, soja for uh, food. Uh, moving forward, they also uh, grow, uh, we call them uh, the pigeon uh, peas. These are uh, uh, in terms of vegetables. So uh, they can grow those ones for uh, uh, food. So they grow for food, mainly for consumption. So, also, uh, uh, we have the uh, growing of rice. Uh, farmers, under subsistence farming, they can also uh, grow rice. Uh, in district here in Malawi, like the district of Karonga, people uh, they do grow a lot of uh, rice. Because uh, that one is also uh, the major uh, food which the people of that particular district, they like to eat. So, they grow uh, uh, also rice under that subsistence uh, farming method. So the rice can be grown for food. Uh, not only rice, 
they can also farmers under this method they can also grow what we call cassava yes uh, farmers can grow cassava for example in the same districts of karonga and karabe here in malawi uh, they believe that uh Komoro is their best in sima so they can grow uh, cassava to have uh, at the end to have the Komoro flower so that is food after having the flower what they do they prepare food and they what they eat so when they're doing a uh, planting of cassava a uh, farming of cassava they are doing uh, the practicing subsistence farming whereby they are mainly growing that particular crop for food so you talk of uh, also we talk of pumpkins yes here in malawi when we are growing a uh, uh, maize we are planting maize we even plant with a uh, uh, pumpkin seeds so later uh, we grow those pumpkin seeds such that you have uh, the pumpkins they are by the end of the season that we should eat so you can see that pumpkins yes indeed they are grown for our uh, food here in Malawi. so that these are the list uh, uh, of the crops that can be uh, produced uh, by the subsistence farmers uh, and remembering that subsistence farmers we are talking of those farmers that are producing or growing crops or raising uh, animals mainly for food now uh, having looking uh, having looked at uh, crops grown mainly for food we also have to look at uh, animals that are mainly uh, raised uh, for food so we're talking of animals raised mainly for food we have the first one as uh, ducks here in Malawi farmers are uh, under subsistence a uh, farming method they raise ducks uh, mainly for food they can have some uh, and prepare for food we have uh, bells like uh, the pigeons like these ones also our farmers they raise them mainly for food not only those ones we also have uh, we talk of uh, the rabbits yes indeed our uh, rabbits can be uh, raised uh, for food in our localities our farmers they keep they raise these uh, rabbits mainly uh, to have food uh, by the end of the day we also have uh, chickens chickens are the commonest uh, bells that uh, in, in most uh, households here in Malawi are uh, raised and uh, indeed uh, in most households chickens are there for food whenever they need a uh, bee you find that people uh, they uh, uh, have their chickens uh, for food not only chickens we can also have uh, the guinea uh, fowls so we can also prepare these ones uh, for food so farmers they do uh, raise these uh, uh, listed animals mainly for food so uh, this uh, need, uh, is happening here in Malawi so uh, how can we know that uh, this uh, farming which is being practiced is subsistence farming that means it has to have some features that we can know we can trace out that if a farmer is doing this uh, is practicing subsistence uh, farming so moving forward we'll be uh, looking at the main our uh, main characteristics of subsistence farming main characteristics of subsistence farming now the main uh, uh, characteristic is the first one is uh, production of food to feed the family a farmer is producing uh, the food or the crop or raising the animals mainly to feed a particular family uh, that that particular farmer is having so a farmer might choose to grow a maize might choose to grow cassava might choose to raise our uh, chickens might choose uh, to raise different uh, domestic birds but uh, you ask that particular farmer why are you raising this why are you growing this uh, this particular crop the farmer is able to say that i do this uh, for my for the survival of my family so the production of food to feed the family another character uh, is a production of crops and animals which are sold at low price production of uh, crops as well as uh, animals that are sold for a low price for example chickens in our communities in our villages are sold at very low prices why the farmer is just keeping for food 
So if another person comes in to say, can I have a chicken, can I have to buy you a chicken? It's just uh, given at a very low price. Because the aim of keeping that particular chicken was not for sale. was for food at family level. So farmers, they just uh, give out at low prices these particular uh, crops as well as animals that are produced under subsistence farming. Also, another character is the production of crops on a very small area or keeping uh, a very few animals. You see that farmers can uh, just produce um, with a maize, we're talking about uh, crops there, maize, rice, uh, cassava, and a millet on a very small uh, area. The reason is the farmer is just uh, assuming that the yield that I'll, I'll, I'll get from this area will be enough for my survival, will be enough for my consumption, will be enough for my food with my family. If I can only have only two boards, will be enough because those ones I'm just keeping them or I'm just raising them for food. So we find that the farmer is uh, having uh, no problem with having a few animals if he's practicing subsistence family only for food. And another one, character you talk of uh, dependency mainly on rainfall. Uh, this is uh, in terms of crops. The subsistence farmer will mainly depend for uh, rains to come. The farmer will uh, only depend uh, on rains. When he has planted a uh, millet, has planted maize, has planted rice, and the farmer will be just there waiting when uh, will the rains come. So uh, this farmer will, not, uh, will, will have no need of improvising other water sources. This farmer is just there waiting for the land to come. So if a farmer is only waiting for uh, uh, the land, that farmer is practicing subsistence uh, farming. So these are the uh, depend uh, for consumption. They are producing for consumption. They depend on the land only. Another one uh, is low levels of inputs. Yes, low levels of inputs. When we talk of inputs, we're talking of the things or materials required for you, for a farmer, to produce. So, when we talk of inputs, we're talking of those materials that are needed for a farmer to produce. What are these ones? We talk of fertilizers, we talk of pesticides, we talk of uh, any, any input that comes in uh, for production. So, a farmer will only need uh, maybe two bags of fertilizer. For me to have maize to eat the whole year, I only need two bags. So that is very low uh, 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 level of input. So this farmer is only uh, 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 putting in very little inputs for uh, to produce. So this is uh, a character of subsistence farming method. Uh, not only that one, we also have uses mainly family labor and hand tools. Farmers under subsistence uh, farming method, they use the family labor. Yes, in, in agriculture, uh, m commonly here in Malawi, uh, most farmers, they use their family laborers. And uh, the more you have, the, the, the larger the family, uh, the higher the labor you, uh, you, you have there. So farmers, they depend on the labor. They don't uh, 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 on the labor of their family. They don't uh, employ other people. They use the family. We talk of the family last time we were talking that uh, we were discussing the importance of agriculture at family level. We said that a family consists of uh, we talk of parents there and uh, children and the other relatives that you are living in with you. So they will be there going out to the fields. They will cultivate there uh, because they know that if we don't go there, we are not going to have the food at the end of the season. So they depend on the family member. Not only family labor, they also uh, depend on hand tools. The tools that they use with their hands. We talk of the hose. Uh, these are subsistence farmers, they use hose. They use axes, they can use panga knives wherever required. So they use uh, hand tools. So, uh, uh, and the last uh, character we are uh, talking of, there is a layer of uh, surplus for sale. Remember? Uh, we, we, we said that the farmer produces on a very small area. So, and here they are saying that we are saying that there is a layer surplus. Surplus uh, means uh, the extra yield that a farmer, after uh, harvesting, can say that this I will eat, 
And the main ones that a, a farmer can sell, those are what we call the surplus. So in some systems farming, there is very rare surplus because the farmer is producing on a very small area. So the surplus there, uh, there are chances, 100% uh, chances, 50-50 chances that they can be a uh, surplus or not. But it's very rare, not commonly happening. That is uh, the meaning of rare there. So whenever the farmer is producing, the surplus is rarely uh, found. So, uh, having uh, looked at that, we have come to uh, the end of our uh, first part of a uh, method of farming, uh, of which we are discussing mainly the subsistence uh, farming method. So, with uh, me here, I will leave you with some questions whereby you go through only on a uh, subsistence farming method. Now, uh, the first question that I would like you uh, to uh, practice there is I uh, mention two types of farming. So I said when I was introducing the topic, so uh, you have it in your mind. Don't uh, uh, replay the, the video such that you just get uh, the answer from the, my introduction there. No, I hope you are listening, you are following. The second question is uh, define subsistence farming. What we have been discussing today, we we'll don't much on the subsistence, subsistence farming. Can you define that one? What exactly is it? And uh, the third question, give any five examples of crops grown for consumption. Which are the crops that are grown for consumption? We listed them. So we give uh, only five. When we talk of consumption, we are talking of food. The fourth uh, question is give uh, any three examples of animals raised for subsistence. Give uh, three examples of animals raised for subsistence. It's the same one we have been discussing. Subsistence, they are just made for consumption. What are the uh, animals that are raised for consumption? Uh, and finally, in the last question here is state any three characteristics of subsistence farming. Among many characteristics that we have discussed, can we only uh, state three from what we have discussed. So these are the five questions that I would like you to go through later uh, the understanding of that but the first part uh, whereby we are discussing or um, looking into subsistence farming as a method. So uh, moving forward till next time we will be looking at the second part of the very same topic method of farming which will be uh, uh, the commercial farming uh, method. So that will be our next part in the very same topic. Till next time, you'll be with me, your teacher, Konwani Mirenda.